Hey there, everyone. I recently purchased this Silky Gomboy. I think this is the 210, um, just to see how it was compared to the SOG that I've had for a while. And as I was getting ready to test these and do this video, this one kind of fell apart. Uh, and I'll explain that here in a, just, a, just a minute what happened to this. So I went out and bought this from Walmart, this uh, Ozark Trail saw just to, and then I compared all three of them. The results were pretty interesting and it's, you know, not really surprising to me. The silky, the silky saw uh, did better than the rest and that's kind of what I figured. And then the, the SOG saw was just, it took a little bit longer to cut into the wood, but this $10 Ozark trail saw that I went and got from Walmart, I thought 10 bucks, hey, you know what, that can't be too bad, but it was, it was, it was just tough to get through the wood. I, one of the, our, my friends on Facebook even commented that looked like it would be a good fire starter as well because all the friction it caused. So uh, it was really tough. But all in all, you know, it, I wasn't surprised with the results. The Silky Saw is, uh, was the fastest. The SOG was pretty good, not as good. You could really feel the bite with this saw. And then this one was just horrible. Uh, what I was talking about with the SOG falling apart, and this saw is the same, it's got this cover it's got this cover right here and I'm not going to take it off I do have a picture though that it holds these pins in place so once this little plastic cover and it comes off fairly easily once that comes off those pins will just fall out uh, and, it, and it messes up this mechanism so um, I thought it was ruined I went and bought this one but I came back home and messed with it a little bit and fixed it so it's not the end of the world but the difference is that this one this silky is the mechanism is on the outside it's riveted in this this whole mechanism so it's not going to come apart uh, uh, where this one is the same as the SOG where that little piece comes off and I assume I haven't taken this off because I didn't want to put it back together but I assume it's the same as this SOG where the the pins can come out in this mechanism you gotta fit three pieces back together and, and it's really it's a pain in the butt to do uh, the other things about these saws the the differences and the similarities um, the this mechanism right here that actually where you can replace the the saw blade itself um, they're all they're all metal this the gomboy and the SOG feel like they're a stronger material than that but again this is a ten dollar you kind of get what you pay for type thing this is a ten dollar knife so it's they're gonna cut costs this SOG was a twenty dollar folding saw and this the gomboy 210 is forty dollars so um, this SOG, you know, for the price, not terrible. The Gomboy is just something I, I think is going to be durable for the long haul. Um, it lasts a lot longer than the SOG. The handle also I like um, also. Uh, the SOG is not bad. This one feels like you've got a little bit more grip. And this one is just, you know, it, it feels okay, but it's, it's that hardened rubber, you know, who knows type thing. Uh, as far as the blades themselves too, uh, the Gomboy, you can tell the blade is is fairly well made. And my thoughts before I started cutting, because the SOG is kind of a, just a flat blade. It doesn't look all that like it's going to bite into it. Whereas this Ozark Trail looked like it would do pretty well. Uh, and you can see from that video that it, it didn't. So uh, that uh, the SOG with the way it's it's cut and everything I think is pretty good but the Gomboy is a lot better it really bites into it you can get uh, replacement blades for the SOG and the Gomboy itself although the SOG is kind of a little bit harder to find than the, the replacement blades for these I believe you can get the Gomboy blades at Home Depot uh, that might even be the case for these I don't know uh, the Ozark Trail I don't think this is almost a disposable folding saw basically so so all in all, yeah, I just wanted to give you my two cents on these. I've tried these these three out. There's even a couple other brands that uh, in that twenty dollar price range. I uh, can't remember what it is right now, uh, but it's other. I've I've heard a lot of good things about it. I don't have one of those yet, but um, so far, I mean, I, I love this Gomboy. The SOG is pretty good, and this one, you know, just just bite the bullet and pay the twenty bucks instead of the 20, ten bucks for this because this. If you had to cut anything substantial, it would take you forever to do. Um, also, just the last thing here, the cases. The SOG comes with this nylon case, which isn't the best material in the world, but it's not bad. And then the, the Gomboy comes with this plastic case, which I guess you could strap to your, 
your belt or whatever. Not terrible. I don't know that I'll be taking any of the cases, so it's really, you know, whether that matters to you, it, it, it's really up to you. It, to me, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But that was it on these. I just thought it was interesting. I wanted to test these out um, and see how they are. Uh, if you have any other recommendations or comments, leave them below. Make sure and subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to everyone later.